Today, we're going to be talking about noted printmaker, Hugh Messabau. Hugh Messabau worked in the WPA from 1937 to 1941 for the WPA. During this period, he was uh, close friends with Robert Guathme and Joseph Hirsch. Uh, he also made the mural steel industry for the post office in Hubbard, Ohio, under the U.S. Treasury Department. While on the printmaking division of the WPA, he was instrumental in developing the carborundum meso mesotint technique with Michael J. Gallagher and Thox Thrash, and subsequent innovation of color carborundum printmaking. Um, this period reflects social issues of the day in, in lively and bold style, influenced by modern works, modernist works he knew from the barns. In 1940, he had his first one-man show at the Carlin Gallery in Philadelphia. During World War II, he was employed um, in defense, a defense shipbuilding company. What initially drew me to this uh, print are the colors. Uh, I later learned it's an apocalyptic vision of Europe in flames, was produced by the process of color carborundum relief etching, a technique which Messaval pioneered at the fine print workshop under the Philadelphia WPA. An acid resist was used to draw the design on the carborundum grounded plate, which was then etched in acid, leaving the design in relief. The sunken areas were inked in color, while the raised areas were rolled in black and printed. Messaval's technique resulted in prints with cells of strong color separated by black lines. This print shows an emaciated shackle figure in the foreground that could be interpreted as either a crown of thorns or, um, or the Statue of Liberty, the gateway to America on Ellis Island. By alluding to such an icon of liberty, Messabal evoked the situation in Europe and voiced his fears of a similar fate befalling America. I'm presenting this print because of current events today. I think it's very timely. There are no, seven known uh, copies of this print according to an interview that Messabal did in 2008. There is the British Museum, the National Art Gallery, the Carnegie, this print, another collector, and there are two, two known unknown copies circulating. Please note that the copies at the National Art Gallery and I believe the Carnegie do not, are not colored. They're just black and white. Thank you very much for your time.